I got the it's a Colonel Marston. What the you They have yeah. four hundred fifty uh, and it's still like uh the eleven day uh rule out until uh Before, uh, you know, phase one officially starts, uh, so uh, please do, do not have any uh, gathering the due to risk. Yeah. Due to risk and a possible way for which might happen actually, uh, proven to by uh, doc doctors and healthcare professionals. Uh, mm -hmm. Not just Peter, Dr. Peter Juni and uh, and uh, Dr. Lawrence Lowe, uh, other the uh, also uh, I've talked about this, uh, and yes, it might happen. So please do not have any gatherings above five. So yeah. So uh, today's coronavirus case is uh, 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 is at seven hundred forty-four. Okay, so a bit lower than yesterday's. Okay, so good good way to end uh, work the uh, basic break. Uh, I guess. Uh, So before tomorrow, so uh, so 181 cases are from Toronto, 123 uh, cases are from uh, is from uh, Peel region, 61 is from Hamilton, 51 is from the Waterloo region, and 48 and 48 is from uh, York region, and also 48 is from Porcupine County, which had been. Uh, on the, on this list for the last few days actually like interesting huh so uh so this is like somewhere uh, near, near timid I've, I've been told uh so uh 24 deaths have been reported today so yeah variant cases so UK variant is at uh, 1, 131,123, uh, an increase of a plus uh, 1,316. Uh, South African variants are at like 1,035. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, so uh, inc an increase of plus 63. And uh, Brazilian variants are at 3,263. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, it would end up uh, there. Yeah. So, uh, and, uh, plus uh, 296. And, uh, and the India double mutant variant, uh, aka the Delta variant, as its nickname is clarified uh, as uh, of the WHO. Uh, so, uh, since uh, WHO is uh, using the new nickname uh, thing, uh, so. So, uh, alpha for, uh, for, uh, the UK variants, uh, beta for South African variants, so gamma for the Bra Brazilian variants, and the delta for the India double mutant variants, uh, so I have been, so looking at it, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, the period, it's affected the Peel region at 97, so, yeah. And Peel region uh, is a hit the hardest right now, so we need to fix the Peel region first uh, before we, uh, you know, do the stuff, uh, anything after that. So, vaccine uh, bookings, uh, you know, if you want to book vaccines, uh, you know, for 12 up and up uh, right now, if you can pre-book uh, for your second shot, if you are seventy plus, uh, as of yeah, as of yesterday, and yeah, so uh, you know, COVID nineteen uh, Ontario ca slash book vaccine one eight 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 nine 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 six four eight eight at a pharmacy. You will have to wait. Do local health unit networks. Uh, 
So, uh, so uh, use the uh, twelve to seventeen. Uh, they can also do it through a special dedicated youth and family clinics. Uh, and on and on Tuesday. They can also do it at pop up clinic, clinics, mobile clinics, and walk in appointments on Tuesday. So, youth that are not age 12 and up by. Uh, they can uh, call uh, the 1 833 943 3900 or through public health units. So uh, what I want to talk about this today is uh, so the Ontario government uh, asking for a stronger border enforcement again, plan again uh, because it's going to the the variants uh, especially the Delta variant is going to ruin the third the the, the uh, provincial reopening plan uh, you know the three of uh, you know the three phase uh, plan yeah so uh, that's going to delay it and uh, yeah so uh, you know if they're like if the cases get worse uh, they're gonna push it back a bit more so that's the problem right now so uh, yeah so uh, health uh, minister Christine Elliott and Solicitor General uh, Sylvia Jones uh, so that they noted that the provincial province is uh, concerned about the risk of international travel during the third wave of the pandemic. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, so and uh, Doug Ford has uh, asked the federal government uh, to strengthen border enforcement uh, before uh, yes uh, last. And he just did this last month, uh, saying that the infectious uh, coronavirus cases and all coronavirus variants are threatening, uh, is, uh, affecting the province, uh, and we, we need to do something about it. And yeah. So that, they, so they called for. Uh, so Christine Elliott and uh, Sylvia Jones, uh, they called for a federal requirement uh, that fully vaccinated international travelers represent proof of immunization and take a coronavirus test on arrival. So international travelers who, uh, who have not, not been vaccinated against the coronavirus, uh, a stronger quarantine reg regimen should be in place. Uh, as they uh, said, recommend, asked, uh, and uh, then both of them say that Ontario is committed to working with uh, you to, to do whatever it takes to protect Canadians from the variant uh, pandemic and future uh, variants. Uh, and uh, we urge you to heed uh, these concerns and act now to finally secure our borders. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a big major concern uh, because uh, there are uh, domestic flights, uh, like flights from a uh, province to pro province uh, coming into Ontario, and uh, and then there's like uh, international flights, uh, like flights from the uh, USA, and uh, also. Uh, from other countries, uh, from uh, from countries from like from uh, Asian countries, the uh, European countries, the uh, African countries, the uh, Australian, uh, South America, Central America, and. Uh, And per flight, there has been like at least more, one or more people who have been like uh, 
has brought the coronavirus uh, order variant with them into uh, un yeah. And also, uh, you know, the international flights, uh, the recommend the requirement is uh, you are either land uh, for international flights uh, into Canada, you either land in Vancouver, Calgary, on Toronto, the Pearson Air Airport, or the Quebec's uh, Dorval Airport, and uh, Calgary and. Uh, And uh, Dorval, they, they, they don't really, they haven't uh, really, uh, they just let peop people in while, uh, well, Ontario and British Columbia, we are taking it seriously. Uh. But people should, like, you know, we should, like, it's important uh, that we uh, like secure our, our borders because uh, if you just let people just in, uh, just you know, it's just going to like uh, increase risks and uh, and a wave four will uh, come uh, way sooner than uh, fall. And of course, uh, they're, they're going to you know. We won't be free from the coronavirus, and as Dr. Peter Juni has uh, mentioned, uh, so we'll have uh, three major uh, problems. Uh, and fall, uh, that's either going to be like the common cold, flu, and coronavirus. As it as it gets worse, so yeah. Uh, and hopefully we we might yeah and i don't want to, to see an, a fifth variant from somewhere around the world for conforming and then con con ending up in some place in the world and then ruining our lives so but that might happen, so uh, we so we have to, we need to like literally make sure like uh, and then there's the problem with uh, so some people uh, choosing uh, not to uh, get vaccinated like it's like my body my choice uh, those uh, people uh, I know like. Uh, I hate to call these people stubborn people, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. But like, honestly, uh, it's a, uh, it's good to that uh, people should uh, just uh, vaccinate themselves up uh, and uh, for the greater good, because uh, uh, it's not just about just uh, your yourself. Uh, Stop thinking about yourself and uh, thinking about like you know the people around you, uh, and and sort of th you gotta think outside the box and yeah. And of course, uh, don't forget about the you know mental health uh, people. Uh, yeah, it's it's chill. The, Think about the children too. You know, we need to have a safe uh, reopening as in September. And if people uh, choose uh, to not do that, look where we're going to go into. And don't forget about Peel region uh, with the Delta variants. And Bolton, uh, Ontario, uh, is a. Uh, it's still not affected by the UK variant, so good. Uh, even though they got affected by like you know like ten percent of uh, people, like uh, you know they like you know get got vaccinated. Uh, you know, they still need to get their second shot. Uh, so, yep.
So, officers uh, still have the authority to break up uh, gatherings. Uh, you know, $750 uh, per person. Uh, if you like, uh, there's uh, more than uh, five people. Uh, $880 uh, through rough uh, ride checks if they're still uh, in effect. $1,000 for preventing others from following orders. $10,000 for, for those who organize or plan the gathering. And $1 million if it gets severe and possibly jail time. And of course, uh, health. So. 625 people are hospitalized uh, with uh, coronavirus now, okay? That's uh, better than uh, last time's uh, number. It's, uh, it's been lower than the uh, last few days, okay? So that's good. So uh, 516 uh, uh, are uh, in uh, ICU, uh, minus 6. And 362 uh, of the... Uh, them are uh, on a ventilator plus five uh, uh, okay but still better than uh, April and May the cases uh, so that's better better so we're sort of like going down a bit uh, but let's not for let's not forget about the variants that's the that's our biggest concern So uh, there's no, no uh, information about uh, the long-term care homes. Uh, so you know, I I still have uh, yesterday's uh, data like uh, from uh, yeah. Like, you know, May, May, the, uh, uh, June 4th, like, 4th, uh, so, uh, 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 hopefully they'll update it tomorrow. They, sometimes they just show it, sometimes they don't. And I think the government's being shady. So please, uh, follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations, uh, and the 11 day rule uh, and please do not have any gatherings over the uh, five uh, for the, the safety of others uh, outside uh, the indoor gatherings are not alive right now until phase three which will be sometime around uh, mid mid july august by my estimate so hopefully it might come earlier if uh, you know if things go uh, well Stay safe, uh, sign up for vaccination uh, if you haven't, uh, you know. And also, uh, uh, since uh, 70 plus, uh, the vaccination uh, pre-booking that had been shifted earlier, it might, it might come for like uh, 65 plus or like, uh, or whatever age category it is uh that might come way before you know june for for the week of june 14th so yeah i'll uh see uh i'll let you know uh, when that is uh stay safe